What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I've made a video of my own, but I think I have a pretty interesting topic and so I thought I might as well just bust out everything and film another video. I could never understand food critics who, you know, can get a meal, take one bite, and they instantly can tell if the entire meal is going to be good or not. For me, I gotta, you know, have a couple of pieces, you know, chew it in my mouth for a little bit, see if the flavor lasts, see if I don't get sick of the meal. You know, I gotta digest things for a little while rather than having an instant reaction. So it's been a couple of months since the first year's ended. I'm currently a second year. So, um, yeah, let's just get into reflecting how my first year went. So when I started medical school, I wasn't really sure what to expect. On the one hand, you know, I'm hearing the typical med school is really rough. It's going to be a rough couple of years, especially compared to college. Um, and you're not going to get any sleep, you know, the typical stuff. But on the other hand, you know, Yale students, because we have a unique system here, we're saying it's much less stressful. It's, uh, you know, you can do things on your own time and um, it's really not that bad. So from my personal experience, I guess um, I can divide it into like the first semester and second semester. So in the first semester, I feel like there was a lot of concepts that I'd already learned like back in college because I was more science oriented, um, like genetics, molecular biology, like basic stuff like that. So that wasn't too hard. Um, because, like I said, I'd already known some of that stuff, and there was a lot of new stuff, but it wasn't overwhelming. As long as you study and stay current with, you know, the material, you're good to go. Like, the one thing you don't want to do in med school is fall, like, two weeks behind in material, because at that point, it's just hell to catch up with old material and, at the same time, keep up with the new material. So the first couple of months weren't too bad. I was able to focus on my schoolwork, focus on things outside of school and also keep other projects going like this YouTube channel. Um, as you can probably tell from my videos if you go back, I was able to post pretty consistently in the first couple of months of med school and then uh, if you've been with this channel for a while you know what happened from there. Also in the first year, at least at Yale, we you know have direct interaction with patients pretty early on. We go to the hospital, like uh, I was at the VA hospital for instance, and you know we interact with patients. Sometimes we're even you know one-on-one -on -one alone with them in a room conducting an interview and physical exam. And that sounds pretty scary and trust me if you're a first-year medical student or you know you have been a first-year medical student, you know how little first-year medical students know. And uh, that can be kind of daunting. Like you don't even know if you're hearing the right things with your stethoscope. You have no idea what the diagnoses are. Or you might have like one thing on your diagnoses, but you really don't know. Um, especially earlier in the year. And even though your role might not be the most important on the team, it's still pretty incredible that already in the first year you're interacting and affecting a patient's life. Which is pretty cool, but pretty scary at the same time. And uh, no matter what, you're probably not going to feel prepared or that you know enough or are confident enough to, you know, properly treat the patient. But um, that's normal, it's training, and um, the doctors understand. I was not expecting how much trust a patient gives you when you put on that white coat and go into the hospital and talk with them because they expect you or they believe that you know a lot more than you actually do. So the second half of my first year was a lot more difficult and as you can see like side projects like my YouTube channel and other things were kind of put on the side and I really just focused mostly on my studying and maybe a couple of other things like research for instance. Learning in medical school is not like you either know it or you don't. It's kind of like a scale and the more you understand and take time to learn the material, the more you're on this side of complete mastery and the less time you put in, the more you're on this completely clueless side. And you can study as many hours a day as you want and that will bring you closer to like complete mastery. But again, you can always study more, you can always get better. So it's basically up to you, especially at Yale where you know there's no grades, it really is up to you how many hours a day you want to study 
and how much time you want to put in to master the material. From my personal experience, I wouldn't say that I was super lenient, but I wouldn't say I was also super try hard. I think I was somewhere in the middle. And I think that worked well for me, but I do think now that, you know, we're in the second year and I'm looking back at first year material and I'm like, what was that again? And you know, it shows that I haven't completely mastered the material, you know, I'm forgetting things already. So I do think I want a better understanding of the material. So I do think that I need to put a little more effort on memorizing and learning concepts and, you know, just repeating things over and over again so that I don't forget them. And I should mention that Yale's a little different in that usually you have two years to complete the pre-clerkship curriculum, which is like the basic stuff you need to know in medicine, like cardio, renal, um, genetics, immunology, like the basic science stuff. And then in the latter half of medical school, you know, go to hospitals and, you know, deal with, interact with patients more. But rather than the two years, Yale gives you one and a half years, um, which works good for later because, you know, you can spend that time doing other things. But as for learning the pre-clerkship stuff, condensing that two years to one and a half years definitely made things a lot more fast paced and might contribute to why I think, you know, medical school, especially in that second half of my first year was pretty difficult. As for keeping up with resources, I would say that, you know, between lectures, lecture notes, uh, first aid and all the other resources, the one thing I would recommend you not to do is to overload yourself with resources. That's like the one problem that I could see incoming medical students having because like at first I'm trying to understand the PowerPoint notes, I'm trying to watch the lecture, I'm trying to understand my own materials and it just becomes too much. So I think the one thing that I learned is that not to focus too much on learning everything from every resource but really focusing on a few resources. I wouldn't follow any specific recommendation, but you know, to take that information in, ask them, why would you recommend this resource? Why would you recommend emphasizing this? And use all that information to find a way of studying that works best for you. That's how it was for me. So, you know, first semester wasn't too bad. The second semester, I really had to sit down and focus on a couple of things. Um, and yeah, obviously that also explains why I haven't been posting as much. If you don't mind, press on, I think it's a notification bell. I don't know where it is. You probably know where it is, I don't know. But if you hit that, because I don't post that often, you might not get notified when my next video comes out. So that'll just let you know, you know, like my video's out. I think that's how it works. I don't know how YouTube works. Man. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you hopefully soon.